Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. As promised, uh, we're going to be doing a fishless cycle on the 40 gallon. I got my daughter over here. Can you say hi? Hi, Joe. You got your trolls? Mm -hmm. You like trolls? Hi, Joe. You're a troll? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so my daughter's a troll, I guess. Uh, but we're going to be doing a fishless water cycle. So I'm going to show you guys uh, what I'm going to be doing. Also, if you're new to the hobby, I'm going to kind of give you a quick um, glimpse of what equipment I'm going to be using for this 40 gallon. So we finally got water into the 40 gallon aquarium. I know it's been a long time, but we finally went ahead and filled it up with water. Um, it's been running probably for around a day. Um, I put a uh, chlorine remover into it to uh, remove all the chlorine and chloramines in, out of the tank. Uh, so it's been cycling for about a day. Uh, what I'm going to be using is the Tetra Safe uh, Start or Safe Start Plus. Um, I know there's probably better ones out there in the market, but this is something that I've been using uh, for the last 20, 25 years. Uh, and I'm kind of one of those persons that once I know that something works, I don't really want to change it. Uh, so this is what I'm going to be using. To start a brand new aquarium, this bottle usually uh, treats about 100, um, 100 gallons, so I'm probably only going to be putting half into this uh, for right now. Uh, when purchasing ammonia, it's very important uh, that you know the strength of the ammonia. Um, I went to a different store and it, nowhere on the bottle did it tell me what the strength of ammonia was. So I went ahead and went to my local harvest store and this one's rated at 10%. So that's that's kind of important so you kind of get an idea. Uh, there's some different calculators out there uh, online that will kind of help you um, know exactly how much ammonia to put in. So I'll put a link in the description on one of them that I'm going to be using. Alright guys, so I'm not claiming to be an expert on this. Um, I haven't done a fishless water cycle in probably around 20 years. Um, the 20 gallon fish tank, I went ahead and started it with the Pleco. If you guys remember, probably around a year ago, I had a small little pleco in there. Um, that's one of the ways you can do a, a cycle on a tank, is you could either use a hardy fish um, or you could do it fishless. Now so we're going to go back here into my little maintenance hatch that I built. And we're going to pour about half of the bottle, probably near the filter, to help it, help it move along. All right, so that's probably about half of the bottle. It's gonna make your tank a little cloudy as you guys can see. Okay, everybody, so while we're waiting for the beneficial bacteria to circulate, if you're brand new to the aquarium hobby, I'm gonna kind of show you how I have this tank set up uh, to kind of give you an idea. On top, I'm gonna be using a current LED light um, I really like these lights and they're very affordable. I think I paid about $50 uh, for this particular light. Um, I know I've seen them at some other different um, aquarium shops for a lot more. Uh, but the shop that I buy them from are around $50, $50 and I think they're around the same price online. On top, I have an AquaClear uh, 110. Now, if you're going to be setting up like a tropical fish tank, uh, I might go with the AquaClear 70, uh, but I'm going to be putting goldfish into this tank, so I'm going to be going with the AquaClear uh, 110. Uh, these things are really a workhorse, uh, but I would, if, if you're doing tropical fish, I would go with the AquaClear 70. Inside, I have a marina heater. Now, when doing a fishless water cycle, you can go ahead and bump up um, the heater to go as, as, as high as possible. Uh, because there's no fish in here, so just crank up the heater as high as possible. Also, I have some aeration stones in there with some black tubing. I have a thermometer. I have two of them. I have one, a marina stick on one right here, and I also have um, a regular thermometer on here. Um, when setting up air stones, it's very, very important to always have a check valve. Never, never, never put on um, an air pump without a check pump. Uh, check valve so that's very very important uh, because you don't want this hose to become a siphon um, and go down into your water pump I mean your air pump and kind of ruin it so underneath I have all my chemicals and my test kit my API test kit 
Um, if you're serious about being in the aquarium hobby, go ahead and get a master uh, test kit. Don't get the test strips. Uh, make sure to get a, a master test kit if you're going to be serious about this hobby. Down here, I have a surge protector. Make sure to get a surge protector. Never, never install any equipment without a surge protector. Don't install it directly to the wall. You want there to be a barrier between the aquarium and the electricity on the wall. So make sure to put a surge protector. All right guys, so this next step, you wanna be outside or in a well-ventilated area. Don't be doing it inside in closed, uh, confined spaces. Um, if you're a minor, make sure to have an adult help you out with this step. Now, doing my research, I went on a couple different websites and there's a bunch of different out, um, ammonia calculators out there and they all were pretty similar. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick one um, that I'll be able to link up and put it in the description to kind of help you guys out. Uh, but for this 40 gallon on a 10% strength, uh, they were all telling me to do about four and a half um, uh, milliliters. So I'm gonna be using this syringe. We're gonna go ahead and, and squirt in the ammonia. Like I said, it's about four and a half milliliters. And that's it. We don't have to do anything else. Um, we're gonna let it run for about 24 hours and then test the water at that point. So say bye. Bye. Say, say we'll be right back. Okay everyone, it has now been 48 hours since we last added the ammonia to the 40 gallon aquarium. It's a beautiful Sunday morning today, so I'm about to head out. So just before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and test the water for you guys um, and kind of explain what's going on. And then right after that, I'm gonna explain on what the next process is gonna be. So let's go test the water. Can you say hi? hi. Say how you guys doing? Okay, so we went ahead and tested the water. And the one thing that we're only gonna be concerned about right now is gonna be the ammonia. Um, I added enough ammonia to bring this up to about two parts per million. And I believe we're right about there. Uh, yesterday, I think it might have been a little bit higher. We might be a little bit in between uh, one part per million and two parts per million. I don't know. It's kind of in between. Yesterday, I felt like it was a little bit stronger. Um, on the nitrite cycle, we're still at zero. So it's still going to take a little bit longer on my aquarium to convert the ammonia to the nitrites, mainly because it is a, it doesn't have any substrate underneath. But like I said, after 48 hours, we're still at two parts per million, I would say, on the ammonia level. So it's kind of expected. It's going to take a little bit before we start converting the ammonia into nitrites. Uh, we'll keep testing probably every two days. All right, guys. So I'm going to end the video right here, um, mainly because this process is going to take about two to three weeks. Uh, one of the reasons why it's going to take a little bit longer on my aquarium is because I have no substrate underneath. It's just the filter and the tank. Uh, so it's going to take a little bit longer for the beneficial bacteria to start actually growing. Um, so I'm going to cut the video right here. Make sure to subscribe for more updates. I probably will update, uh, to update you guys next week uh, at that point that I start changing the water. So until then, I hope you guys can take something away from this process. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. If you guys have any comments, make sure to leave them below and I'll definitely respond to you guys. So until then, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a great day, guys.